I really like playing in front of a gallery on camera. It really helps me focus in. And What's up everybody, Johnny Discolf here at the 2020 Las Vegas Challenge presented by Innova. Mm -hmm. And I am joined by almost the man of the hour here at Vegas, Tristan Tanner. How you doing, buddy? Good. How are you? Good. Doing great. The event's over. That means that we've got one in the books, like an infinite to go, it feels like. Mm -hmm. um, you toured all year last year. What are you looking forward to most this year on tour? Uh, I'm just looking to play a season not injured, really. Yes. I mean, I got injured right before this event last year and was battling that all the way through the season. I was able to have a good off season, uh, be able to work on my body, everything, and then, uh, yeah, able to come out, start the year strong, and yeah, I'm just feeling good, excited for the just having a clean year. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that because last year you were on tour all year, but I, I would say at least for the first half, you had like a big Gronkowski style like yeah. leg brace. Yeah. Um, what was the injury? What's the timetable? And how are you feeling now relative to that injury? Yeah, it was. Uh, I dislocated my kneecap. Yeah, it was brutal. It was yeah. the third time I've done it. I played basketball in high school and okay. uh, done it two times doing that. Mm -hmm. But third time I did it, uh, the recovery time was actually pretty quick. I was back on my feet. I actually played Memorial. Oh, geez. Probably shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, went and played that. Uh, obviously, I had the knee brace all year, basically just trying to get the swelling down. I could move on it, but it wasn't, I couldn't quite push off and plant was a little bit weird. Um, just kind of messed up my timing and threw that stuff off more that was more the long term mm -hmm. thing so it, it didn't take too long for the my knee to be better but it took a long time to get my game back sure, together sure, sure. just the confidence and even being able to hit that with a lot of exactly. pressure um this year though you're coming in clean slate um not a lot of folks you know i'll admit it not a lot of folks are going to know who you are yep. uh, coming into vegas mm -hmm. um how's the like how's the game right now because you're a colorado guy right yep Cool. Yep. Uh, how, what, what'd you do over the off season? Where'd you stay? Where'd you play? Run me through that. Okay. Yeah. So I, I just stayed at my parents' house in Longmont, Colorado, and just we have two nine-hole courses there that I just kind of bumped around. They're two of the best nine-hole courses in the state, I'd say. Um, just kind of bumped around there, did field work, played there a whole bunch. It gets kind of cold, so you can't really do a ton. Sure. I was more focusing on like um, gym, getting my body ready, and um, just kind of fine-tuning some bits and um, pieces, and then. Uh, Right at the beginning of January, I headed down to Arizona. And so uh, I was in Arizona for about a month before yeah. like winter time started. Yeah. Um, so I was there, that's where I really started to work on my game, played two events there, and then, yeah, now we're, now we're here. Um, are you still touring around in the uh, Sprinter? You had, a, you had a Sprinter last year, are you still gonna drive that around this year? Yeah, so I have a Ford Transit, okay. so. But, Excuse me. Yeah, jeez, <laughs> come on. <laughs> but, yep, same one. Uh, I got uh, some decals on it, some latitude decals, and yeah, so I'm super excited to drive that around. Uh, let me ask you, you're wearing glasses right now. You wore glasses every round out there. Is this a look? Is this a brand I'm seeing right now? Uh, probably. I, I Man, brightness gets me. I get okay. like migraines and headaches when I, Ooh. like in the brightness. So I got, I have them on most of the time I'm outside. Okay. Um, but if it's dark, like yesterday when we had the rain, it, they were off a couple times. Mm -hmm. But yeah, for the most part, they're on. Cool. I love it. It's a great look. Uh, we, were, we were talking about it after the round, like, dang, we got a little, he's got like a brand going right now <laughs> yeah. with, the, with the curly hair, the glasses. The, you could, your form is genuinely like one of the more unique forms, um, especially for like the power guys out there uh is that like did you try to throw different or is this just your body throwing a disc uh it's just my body throwing a disc really um yeah i just kind of develop my own thing and i go slow and i'm explosive at the end and that's just kind of how i like to do it yeah super explosive uh both backhand and a sidearm we saw you all weekend just crushing shots um what was it like playing uh, probably not on camera the first time but really this is like the most legitimized camera card you've ever played on. What was the energy? What was the feeling like out there? Uh, it was a good feeling. Yeah, it wasn't my first time on camera. I think I've been on three times before this okay. or maybe two times, um, but it was comfortable. I mean, I make some little YouTube videos here and there. And so, I mean, that helps just mm -hmm. with the camera there Absolutely. and the pressure. And uh, I really like playing in front of a gallery on camera. It really helps me focus in and yeah, I, I love it. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that you're making the YouTube videos, something I saw over the off season. Uh, you were doing some kind of like crazy, like round challenges. Can you yeah. tell the people about your channel? Yeah, yeah. So I make uh, just kind of crazy round challenges, and I do. I did like a 360 only round. I played around a round with just my bite, stuff like that. Just fun stuff, and I. I, I it's like how I like to practice. Uh, I mm -hmm. like to challenge my stuff, my uh, skills in ways like that. And I'm really proud of having like a very well-rounded game. 
And uh, I think that's a great reason why I do that. No, so. 100%. I, I was loving them. I was watching them from my house in San Francisco. They're, they're some of the more unique, you know, it's like grenade only rounds yeah. and stuff yeah, like that. Sure. Uh, was, was, were you doing that at those little nine holes you're saying that you were playing? Uh, a couple, yeah, at home. And then I did uh, quite a few while I was in Arizona, awesome. too. And I was kind of bouncing around Colorado and doing some uh, in northern Colorado. So, oh, gotcha. yeah. Um, so we just finished Las Vegas Challenge. You had a fantastic finish. I believe solo fourth. Yep, solo fourth. Um, next is the Memorial. Uh, what's your plans, you know, in the short term and then for the whole season? You're on tour full time this year again? Yep, yep. Full time again, hitting all the big ones. And yeah, I'm just looking to have fun, just play my game and just enjoy life, really. Awesome. I, you can't ask for anything more than that. I enjoy my life anytime we're hanging out. I really appreciate yep. your time today. Um, that's all I got for this interview, but I do want to give you a chance to say anything to your fans, people back home, any new fans you may have made from this tournament. Uh, yeah, I'd just like to thank you guys. I mean, uh, you guys are super supportive. The amount of messages I've had all weekend uh, have just been amazing. I'm really feeling the love. And just shout out to you guys. You guys are all amazing. Awesome. Thank you so much, Tristan, for your time. Really appreciate it. Um, guys, that is all I've got for this interview. But if you'd like coverage of all things disc golf, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for checking out that interview. I am having a blast out here in Vegas, getting the season started, getting my foot on the ground and the wheels on the road. Thank you so much to all of you that have followed along all of last year and continue to watch this year. Can't wait for this season to produce so much content and a lot of new stuff that you guys, I think, are going to enjoy.